Hello, preschool and kindergartners. I hope you've had a great week. I hope you've enjoyed this time of worship with your families this morning. And now it's time for the big God story. Today's ponder point is Jesus is merciful. But before we get into the story about how Jesus is merciful, I wanna ask you guys a question. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been excluded? Maybe at school, your friends didn't want you to join in the game they were playing and you were left out. Or maybe at the park or something like that, you've seen a bunch of kids not allow someone to play with them. It hurts our hearts when that happens, doesn't it? Well, today's story is about how Jesus was merciful to a group of people who were excluded. So, what does it mean to be merciful? To be merciful means that you see someone who is suffering and you help them. So today, every time I hold up this heart, I want you to say, Jesus is merciful. Let's do it together. Jesus is merciful. Great, let's do it one more time. Jesus is merciful. Okay, so keep your eyes out for the heart as I tell the story. Well, as we've talked about, Jesus was going around healing people. And people started to hear about Jesus healing and performing miracles. And everywhere Jesus went, a crowd followed him. One day, Jesus went to a city called Jerusalem. And he hadn't quite entered the city yet, when all of a sudden, some men started crying out to him. These men weren't in the city because they had an illness called leprosy. Have you guys noticed my stuffed animal friends with me? What's different about them? They're covered in red dots, aren't they? That's kind of like what leprosy was. It was a skin disease where you had sores all over your skin. Everyone could see it and people didn't want to be around people with leprosy kind of like on the schoolyard, not including someone. They didn't want to be around them. In fact, they said, you can't live with us in our city. You can't live with your families. You have to live away from everyone. I can't imagine they would have been really sad. So these men see Jesus and they know Jesus can heal people. And so they cry out, Jesus, son of David, help us. Well, friends, Jesus is merciful, right? So Jesus didn't keep walking toward the city. He turned around and walked towards the men. He saw that they were sick. He saw their leprosy. And so he said to them, go to the priest and have him look at you. Jesus did this because Jesus is merciful. So the men trust Jesus they listen to what he says and they start running to this priest who will tell them if they're better or not and can go back with their families. And as they're running, they start to look at their skin and they notice that their leprosy is gone. They start shouting and cheering and they keep running to the priest. And in this part of the story, something interesting happens. There were 10 men, just like there are 10 stuffed animals here and one of them stopped running and he turned around and he started running in the other direction. Who do you think he was running to? He was running to Jesus because Jesus is merciful. He runs to Jesus, he falls at his feet and he says, thank you, thank you for your mercy. And Jesus says to him, your faith has saved you. I love this story. I love it because Jesus is merciful. And we find so many stories in the Big God story about Jesus showing mercy. 
And yet again, in this story, we're reminded that Jesus doesn't just heal us on the outside, he also heals us on the inside. So I encourage you to talk with your parents this morning, to talk with those watching the video with you, and ask them to share a story about when God showed mercy to them. We have abundant stories about God showing us mercy. And I encourage you to do an art project with your family. Do a project with some hearts, praising God that Jesus is merciful. And then when you're finished, please have your parents take a picture and post it to our Treehouse Facebook page. I haven't seen your beautiful art projects in a long time and I would love to see them. I hope you all have a wonderful week celebrating that Jesus is merciful. Let me pray for us. God, I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for the mercy he showed the 10 lepers in this story and for the mercy he showed to the one man who came back. I thank you that you have shown us so much mercy in our lives. You've saved us from our sin. You've invited us to be a part of your family. And so I ask this week that we would look for ways to show mercy to others, confident that if we ask, you will answer. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for your mercy. Amen.